Black Method Gang. We back with another video. Today we're gonna be talking about why you need to become a wolf. You have to become a wolf out here, especially with the winter are coming up. This is the perfect time to start. This is the perfect time to develop these characteristics. So first things first, you must have faith. Praise the most high, Jesus Christ, my boy. No, but for real guys, you need to have some sort of, you know, faith, spirituality, something to you. Me personally, I follow Jesus, you know what I'm saying? But you can follow whatever you want, whatever you do, that's on you. But you need to have, you need to believe in a higher power. You need to believe in a greater source, the creator. Everything isn't just coming from you. You come from the source. The source is, you know, God. So you have to be grateful for all that you have. You may be alone in flesh, but never in spirit. You got to understand that whatever you have, you must be grateful for. You always need to remember that there's people out there that have nothing, that literally have way less than you, and they're still happy. There's people that have way more than you, and they might be depressed and, and sad. And you know what I mean? It's crazy out here, especially when you look at we we're so privileged in the modern world that we have all these things that we take a lot of things for granted. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's true. First world problems, you know, you might... The problems that you have is nothing compared to people in different countries, bro, or people in general that are down bad. So you always got to be grateful for what you have. Why I say you may be alone in flesh, never in spirit, is because the journey that you're on currently is a lonely one because you probably don't have people that are alongside with you on the same page, on the same tip that you're on. When you're on your winter arc, when you're on your grind, when you're just locked in, bro, chances are your friends, your family, whoever you hang out with, your media circle, they're probably not on the same page. It it's just is what it is. So you have to understand that, yeah, you're walking alone, but you're never alone in spirit. You might be alone in the flesh, but never in spirit because you have the higher God with you at all times. You know what I'm saying? You always have to be grateful. You always have to have faith and you always have to pray i always say this this saying right here that we're all alone in this together literally we are all alone in this together we're on our grind we're on our path and it's your job to stay focused and stay diligent and obviously if you you always just gotta you always gotta say send prayers to the most high praise the most high you'll never you'll never truly be alone because you always have the most high you need to have courage. Face death with a smile on your face. Now, this doesn't mean literally face death. I'm not saying delete yourself. <laughs> what I'm saying is whatever fear you have, you need to face it with courage. You need to face it with a smile on your face because whatever fear you have, it's just going to make you grow. It's an opportunity for you to actually grow as a person to get over these fears that you have. And honestly, it's just the fears that we have. It's really just self-limiting beliefs that we put on ourselves. For instance, when I first started making videos, I had a fear of being on camera. I had a fear of people thinking that my videos are stupid or thinking that what I'm doing is stupid. I don't care about any of that anymore. I face fear with a smile on my face because I conquered that. I, I don't give a crap if anyone thinks my videos are dumb or if anyone thinks it's corny. I'll say this to you, it's corny until it works. And that applies to anything you do, whether it's YouTube, whether it's you want to start your own, whatever you're doing, business, you know what I mean? You want to cut hair, you, it doesn't matter what you're doing. It's always corny until you actually make it work. You know what I mean? Every, so you got to just grow some, grow up hair, you know what I mean? Face death with a smile on your face and understand that it's an opportunity for you to grow it's an opportunity for you to build and it's an opportunity for you to do what you want you need to understand that you have control of your life you're the one in control of your life so why let other people control what you want to do you have all you're scared of what other people will say for what it's your life <laughs> so do what you want to do this just is what it is and i put this this basically is just a build off of that first thing I just said, the way of the samurai is found in death. The way of the samurai is found in death. Pretty much the same thing that I just explained. Always face your fears with a smile on your face. Understand that whatever makes you feel uncomfortable is the path you need to take because that's the path 
that leads to progress. That's the path that leads to actually growing as a person. If you stay comfortable your whole life, if you stay comfortable in whatever you do, you're never going to grow because you're comfortable. Why would you need to do anything else if you feel like, you know, you don't ever want to get out of your comfort zone. You don't ever want to face challenges. You don't ever want to come over all these fears, these self-limiting beliefs that you have because you want to stay in comfort. Get out of that. They're never going to grow. You're going to stay stuck and you're going to wonder why you're in the same position you've been your whole life. It's because you're not getting out of your comfort zone. You're not facing fear. You're not facing death with a smile on your face. Stand up to what you believe in despite of what others think. Stand up to what you believe in despite what others think. Now, this is this applies to literally what I just said in terms of whatever you want to do. You want to be an influencer. You want to be a YouTuber. You want to be a barber. You want to be a doctor. You want to be a lawyer. You want to be whatever you want to be. You need to, you need to have the courage to stand up to what you believe in in terms of what you want to do and in general what you actually believe in your morals what your standards what you hold yourself to you know what i mean despite of what others believe in because if you let other people get in the way of that you're never truly going to experience freedom and experience just being yourself as a person because you're so worried about what other people think you're so worried about oh he's going to think this of me if i believe in that he's going to think it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you are with yourself. When you go to your bed at night, you're alone in your bed by yourself, in your thoughts. You walk alone in the flesh. I'm referring to flesh, guys, because you always have the boy, Jesus, with you at all times. But I'm talking about in the flesh. You are always alone. You're always truly alone. So don't be afraid of standing up for what you believe in, whatever it is. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter what it is. That's what you believe in. Obviously, I'm not talking about crazy, freaking horrible, <laughs> you know what I mean? But in general, guys, you got to stand up for what you believe in. And that's the only way you're going to have courage. That's the only way you're going to really, truly be free. Ambition. You must have the burning desire to conquer. You have to have a burning desire to conquer your goals, dude. You do. Because if you don't, then you're never going to accomplish anything. You're never going to accomplish anything and you're never going to live up to what you could have become and then 20 years from now 10 years from now you're 50 40 years old 45 you know what i'm saying and you're wondering damn where did the time go dang i could have did this dang i could have did that yeah you could have did everything you wanted to do but you didn't do it because you had no ambition you have no burning desire to truly do what you always wanted to do part of it's because you have no courage part of it's because you have no faith but most of it is because you have no ambition you have no ambition, bro. You need to have burning desire to accomplish what you want to do. And you have to do it every single day. 1% better every day. Do all that can be done each day. Do all that can be done each day. Every day that goes by that you waste is just going to compile and go over and over. And it's going to keep going and growing and growing. You don't want to live life with regrets of what you could have did. Oh, I could have did that. Oh, well, I could have done this. You, the could have guy. Oh, I would have done that. Oh, I could have. But what are you doing now? You could have did all this stuff, but why didn't you do any of it? Don't end up like that guy that had so much potential. Everyone has potential. Everyone has the ability to become what they want to become and achieve great things. Just the reason why we don't do it is because we have no ambition. We have no ambition. A lot of you guys don't have any desire. I didn't have it. I didn't have ambition to do anything. You know what I mean? And if I did, it was it, it I wasted it away by distracting myself. You know what I mean? Um, not sticking to a routine, not really having the drive. I wanted to do it, but I didn't I didn't really make any systems. I didn't do anything to really push me to do it. You see me grinding on on Instagram. If you follow my Instagram, you see me grinding on YouTube. You see me, dude, I'm doing anything every single day. I'm, I'm doing more and more every single day. And it's not going to stop until I make it. Become relentless. No days off. Become relentless. No days off. You got to get better 1% every single day. It doesn't matter if it's 0.1%, 0.2%, 10%. You just got to keep going every single day. At least do something every single day that's going to push you towards your goal. That's going to push you towards whatever you want to accomplish. Just do something 
every single day. You have 24 hours in a day. You can spend a half hour doing what you can do to push yourself to your goal, to your dreams, to your vision, whatever it is. It doesn't even have to be your lifelong purpose, your life purpose. It can literally be a simple goal of you. Oh, I want to learn how to play guitar. I want to learn how to play an instrument. I want to learn how to learn a language, whatever, whatever it is. Just do something that's going to propel you towards that goal every single day. Every single day. Do not let life run you, bro. You have 24 hours in a day. You can do something every day that's going to push you towards that goal. Intelligence. Learn all that you can. Learn all that you can. It's very important to develop intelligence. Now, me, I didn't go to college. Well, I did for like two semesters. I dropped out. And to be honest, during that time, I didn't really learn much. You know, I didn't really learn anything, to be honest. Um, it's and Intelligence doesn't mean just getting book smart, depending on what you do, obviously. But intelligence just means to be able to think fast. It's able to adapt. It's able to pick up things quickly. It's able to just know a general studies of a lot of things that apply. Whatever you're doing, whatever your field is, whatever you're trying to do, have intelligence. Have the ability to answer questions that come to you. Become proficient in your field. Whatever you're doing, you have to become proficient in it. If you're trying to do a business on working out like I'm doing, you got to know answers to the questions. You got to be proficient in your field. That's what you're trying to teach. That's what you're trying to do. So you got to know what you're doing. You got to actually learn what you're doing. And this applies to everything. You just got to be smart, man. You got to be able to think fast, think quick on your feet. Intelligence is very, very important. Never stop learning. You can always learn something. You can always literally learn something every single day. Yeah, some information is useless, but it's to keep your brain stimulated on actually developing skills and developing knowledge that you can use. You know what I mean? You want to learn about things. You want to always be, you always want to be a student at all times. You do. You want to be able to learn things. You want to be able to actually just be smart, man. It 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 is what it is. You want to be able to learn things. And that's what I'm really focusing on, too. I want to be able to just have knowledge, a vast variety of knowledge on different topics and different things. Because one, it's going to help me learn more about what I'm doing because I'm going to be more proficient in studying. I'm going to be more proficient in picking up things and actually retaining information. That's why you want to keep learning every day. Last but definitely not least, become dangerous. You want to be physically capable, aka get in the gym, aka work out, aka build your physique, build your body, be like uh, healthy. You want to have a healthy lifestyle. You want to be able to be physically capable, physically dependent. You want people to be able to rely on you. You want to be able to rely on yourself when you're in a gym. You're a man. You got to be able to you got to be able to be physically capable, bro. A lot of people are walking around here obese, fat. They don't care about their health. They don't care about anything. They don't care about... If you don't care about your health, you really don't. Everything's a problem until your health is a problem. And now you want to try to turn back time and do this. No, it's too late. It's too late. Once you have that health problem, it's too late, bro. Now you want to try to do... It's so simple. You need to be physically capable. You need to be physically fit. Looks can kill. Becoming dangerous. Looks can kill. You want to upgrade your appearance. You want to upgrade your physique like I just explained. You want to upgrade. You want to max out all your stats. You want to max out all your stats. You know what I mean? Looks can kill, guys. Looks can give you opportunities. Looks can give you that, just that self-love. Even though it's it's based off of vanity. But you want to see yourself in the mirror and, and think that you're that guy. You do. You want to look in the mirror and know that you're him. Because you look the role, you feel good. You Once you look good, you feel good. I don't care what anyone says, it's true. It's true. When you look good, you feel good. Looks can kill. Looks can get you opportunities you've never gotten before. I'm a literal testament to that. I know how it was when I looked one way, and I know what it is when I look now, bro. I know what it is. I was on both sides of the spectrum, literally. This side, full of acne, no confidence, no style, no swag. No, nothing. Horrible teeth. Bro, I was literally had zero stats. Zero stats on everything. No haircut. 
it just everything, bro. Skinny twig, like I said, acne, cheese grater teeth, horrible teeth, goofy glasses. Dude, I had zero stats. And hey, and now I'm on this side. This side's a lot better. I have max style stats, bro. Come on. Like I've I've worked too hard for this. I've worked too much for this. And I know I reap the benefits of it. I know the opportunities I've gotten. I don't even want to get into it. But I've gotten just off of the look, bro. It, it's, come on, man. And I'm not saying looks are everything. I just explained how looks aren't everything. I just went over mad things. It's a major role. Your branding, your appearance, how you present yourself, how you carry yourself, how you feel about yourself, how others will perceive you, how others will feel that aura, that demeanor you have based off your look. This guy's serious. This guy's know what it is. This guy takes care of himself. This guy is someone who, you. I go over this on all my videos. Check out those other videos learn how to fight you got to learn how to fight getting jacked is one thing being in the gym is one thing you know getting fit that's good that's going to help you learn how to fight because you're going to have more stamina you're going to actually have muscle you're going to have to have strength but you want to learn how to fight you don't have to be a professional boxer you don't have to be you know, a world champion or anything i'm none of that but i i know more than the average person when it comes to fighting because i've done boxing never went amateur i'm not saying i was a pro no <laughs> but what i'm saying is I've done enough to where even if I know 10% more than the average person, that's still a 10% advantage. And another advantage is I'm actually really athletic. I'm actually actually really fit. I'm jacked. I'm big. But I'm actually fit, like athletically fit. I can jump really fast. I have a lot of stamina. I can run really fast. As I say, I meant I can jump really high. I can. I'm quick on my feet. I'm able to stick and move i know how to punch i know how to i can do something i can physically i'm i'm very confident in my abilities to defend myself obviously pick and choose your battles it depends who you're fighting but for the most part if someone's my stature someone's my size someone's my thing i have full confidence in myself that i'm able to protect myself because i've been through the boxing i've been shadow boxing every day i've been finding ways to protect myself to be quick on my feet to be able to move right it's just simple things like that. Like I said, you don't have to be a professional boxer. You don't have to be an MMA fighter. You just need to learn skills to be able to defend yourself. Be able to defend yourself, your friends, your family, and loved ones. You're a man, bro. You got to be able to defend yourself. If things pop off, you need to be able to rely on yourself. Can you defend yourself? You can either defend yourself or you can't. It's simple as that. Like I said, I have full confidence in my abilities to defend myself. I do. It doesn't even matter if I lose the fight. I'm st I'm going out on, on my shield, bro. Because, hey, like I said, pick and choose your battles, obviously. But if someone's my size, someone's my height, someone's my... It, it, they don't even have to be. I'm If I'm in a situation where I need to defend myself, I'm going to defend myself. And I'm true. And I'm, everyone is capable of doing that. Especially if you tap into your adrenaline. If you tap into that survivor mode. But... Imagine this, you tap into your survivor mode, full of adrenaline, and you're capable, and you can defend yourself in some way, you know how to fight in some way, you know how to punch, you know how to move, you know how to grab, you know how to block, you know how to evade, you know how to, what certain body parts are targets for you to neutralize your opponent, you have confidence, you're going to be nervous, but when it gets down to it, you're going to be able to defend yourself, so you need to learn how to fight, you need to be, you need to learn how to fight, bro. Protect yourself and loved ones. Like I said, that's part of learning how to fight. And in general, always protect yourself and your loved ones. You need to be street smart and book smart. Being dangerous doesn't just mean all just the physical stuff. Like I said, this is part of being intelligent. This is part of being smart. You need to be able to be book smart and street smart. Street smart, obviously, is building off of defending yourself, picking and choosing your battles, knowing where not to go, being alert, being attentive. A, lot, a big problem of mine was I wasn't really alert. I wasn't really attentive. I'd be kind of walking like I'm in space, like I'm, I'm up in the air. And that's really stupid because if I'm, if I get caught with my pants down because I'm over here just up in the air, not paying attention, things can go left for me really quick because I'm not paying attention. I'm not aware of my surroundings. I don't know who's where. I don't know who's behind me. I don't know what's going on because I'm in my own world. I'm not saying be paranoid at all times, but you just gotta be alert because you don't know what can pop off. Literally, you can save your life by being in a in a certain 
position in a certain spot just based off what you see. Positioning yourself in certain situations. You can literally save your life like that. But if you're up in the air not paying attention to anything you do, you're just, you know, you're you're going to get caught lacking, bro. And it can go left quick. It's going to go bad. It's going to go bad quick. Even now, like, I always like facing the, sitting where I'm looking at the entrance. Anywhere I go, I like being able to see the entrance because I want to see who comes in. I want to see who goes here, who goes there. I'm Like I said, I'm not paranoid to where everyone I think, but I just like being able to see who's coming in, who went there, who went... Because you never know. You really never know, especially now. You don't know at all times. And if I don't know what's going on, there's a greater chance of me losing my life, possibly getting injured, possibly not being able to protect whoever I'm with. It, things can go left, man. You just got to be aware, be street smart. Book smart, obviously, you want to be able to be proficient in what you're doing. You want to be able to get your point across good. You want to be able to speak better. You want to be able to just be smart, be able to learn things, be able to have wisdom, intelligence. Now, this is something I really wanted, I want to get better at is speaking and getting my point across. Now, I'm really trying to get rid of saying filler, filler words like, like, um things like that, because I don't want to talk like that. I want to be able to speak proficiently, profoundly, and be able to get my point across quick with conviction and just, you know, eloquence. That's what, that's one of my goals. And last but not least, of course, unchained. You want to be unchained. Part of becoming dangerous is being unchained. Now, if you know me, you know what unchained means. What does it mean? It means being unshackled by your self-limiting beliefs. You put chain, we all put chains on ourselves our self-limiting beliefs, we put chains on ourselves. On anything we do, we always think, oh no, I can't do that, only he can, or I don't deserve that, or I don't deserve this, I don't deserve that. When it's all false, you deserve that. You just gotta put in the work. Now, there's the thing, you can't just want things without doing anything to get them, and that's what we get caught up in. We want all these things, oh, I want this car, oh, I want this, or I want that, I want this house, I want this girl, I want this whatever friends all this stuff but you do nothing to get that you don't even pray how are you gonna get it you don't pray you don't seek help from the most high you don't even do anything to reach your goals anyway so it's not gonna fall out of the sky bro that's the thing you gotta understand nothing comes out of the sky besides rain nothing comes out of the sky bro you need to actually develop a system have your vision Oh, I want this car. What do I got to do to get this car? Oh, I want to get this body. What do I do to get, how to, you know, get this body? I want to get jacked. Okay. We all want to get jacked. What are you going to do to get jacked? Oh, I should probably go to the gym. Okay. What are you going to do when you go to the gym? Oh, I should probably have a split. What split? Okay. I should probably do this. I should probably do that. I should probably eat this. I should probably eat that. Okay. So now you have the system and now you got to follow that every day. And then you see the progress and then you track yourself. And you can do that with any goal you want. Oh, I want to be a doctor. Okay, what do I got to do? I probably need to go to college. I probably need to study for my exams. I probably need to get good at whatever I got to do to be a doctor. And I got to do that every single day. Then, yeah, you're going to become a doctor if you do that. But if you just sit there and say, I want to be a doctor. And then go back to beating off, jacking off, playing games. You're probably not going to be a doctor. That's what it is, man. You got to be unchained. Get rid of your self-limiting beliefs. You can achieve what you want to achieve. You just got to apply yourself. We all have the potential. We just don't use it. We just don't develop it. It's hard, but what's harder? Living a life of regret or living a life of pain to eventually build progress to reach your goals. You can spend four years grinding, really sacrificing time, sacrificing family, sacrificing friends to eventually finally achieve your goal. Or you can sacrifice... You can sacrifice your goals for pleasure because when you're not doing your work, when you're not doing what you need to do to achieve your whatever you want to do, you're sacrificing your goals because you think your pleasure is more important than your goals. But then when years go by and you haven't really done anything, you look back and you're like, damn, where did the time go? Oh, I know where it went down the drain because I wasted it. I completely wasted my time and you don't want to be like that. That's the worst. That's probably the worst feeling you can ever experience, ever. I, I can't imagine a worse. That's, that's literally like death. That's literally death. Now, I'm not saying there's really not a time to where you can't 
become successful, become whatever. But seriously, man, but at a certain time, you have more responsibilities. You have things. You, at that point, it's almost too late. It's basically too late. Do you really have enough? If you didn't have enough courage to do it when you were younger, you probably are not going to have as much to do it when you're older and you're and now you're physically your physicality has declined your health has declined your mental state has declined all these things are declining your ambition everything it was already low when you were young when you're in your prime years what makes you think now when you're 55 it's going to be higher it's probably not going to be higher now obviously there's always exceptions people that you know achieve great things when even when they're older i'm not saying you can't do it but what i'm saying is the percentage is definitely lower anyways become a wolf guys that's it for this video if you like the video comment down below comment down below unchained if you watch this entire video this is a really long one so we'll see how many people comment down below anyways guys recommend videos you want me to make and um one-on-one -on -one coaching in my bio i'm gonna drop a comment to show if you guys want to join my one-on-one -on -one coaching program honestly guys it's it's getting jacked it's building that unchained mindset and appearance mastery it's basically becoming a wolf becoming dangerous becoming your alter ego if you want to be jacked if you want to have an unbreakable mindset to where you can achieve anything and you want to look the part and look just attract opportunities this is your thing it's not just about the physique trust me a major part of the program is getting your physique but also your mindset also your appearance how you carry yourself because you gotta understand that all this isn't just for just getting gains it's not about that trust me it is about that in the sense where yeah that's a byproduct of it but you got to see the bigger picture this will lead you to get more money this will lead you to get more opportunities this will lead you to get in situations that will provide it's going to put you in situations that you would never be in if you didn't do any of this because it's not just about looking big and looking strong that's cool but you got to see how this will actually 10x your life in all facets i'm talking about financially i'm talking about opportunities i'm talking about relationships i'm talking about anything bro it's not just the gains and gaining muscles i thought it was that when i did it until now i see the real picture it's it's not just that, bro. It's the opportunities you get. If you're making X amount of money now, if you're making good money now, imagine how you, how much more you would make when you have the physique and body and the look. Imagine how much more people will come work with you when you look, oh, this guy looks a certain way. You're probably making money now in sales. You're probably making more money now doing whatever you're doing. But just think of the opportunities you're going to get. You already are doing good, but it's going to be 20X, 10X when they see the complete shift, the change, opportunities will come. They're going to be, oh, shit, this guy. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Forever Unchained.